Well, hey, it's Reese. Welcome back for a quick little video. First, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers and welcome to all of my new subscribers. New subscribers, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will know every single time I what come through with a new video. So we are already going to go ahead and we are going to jump into this one, okay? So let me let y'all know. This is some scolded hot tea. It ain't no other way I can put it. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to be over here, over there, over here, over there. But you're going to want to listen. So let's get started. So last night, you know, I happened to be up. Okay. Now, I guess this started maybe around 11. But long story short, I was up until about 4.30. Okay. So this tea was so good. I was like, you know what? I go ahead and sleep during the day. That's what Reese going to do, okay? Now, I already knew the day was going to be kind of crazy. And I'm going to tell y'all how I knew, okay? First, let me say this. If you do not like reaction channels, okay, I react. If you are going to get your panties all in a bunch, piss in your own Cheerios, feel like you are about to jump off the edge, feel like you want to go ahead and drink bleach and die, then guess what? You might as well go ahead and exit my video. Also, I am going to sit my fat ass. Yes. And I have no BBL on the side of my bed and talk about who I want to talk about and when I want to talk about them, okay? I, I need to really get that through you guys' heads. That's what I'm going to do. So if you don't like it, I'ma go ahead and give you time to exit off, and guess what? I'll wait. And while they, exit, while they are exiting off, y'all hit them like buttons for me. Let's try and get this video up to a hundred likes. All right, so let's get started. So anyway, like I said, I already knew the day was going to be a little bit shaky, okay? So earlier, I guess it was in the morning, you already had Chrissy come on. She definitely did a stellar performance, okay? She came on basically and said that, you know, she was being bullied. She said that people were harassing her. She just was so upset. She was bawling uncontrollably. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Did I feel sorry for her? Yes, I felt sorry for her. But at the same token, you and you only put yourself in this situation so therefore don't try to get your subscribers don't you try to come for the reactors because we did nothing to you we are doing what we do and that is called reacting we may not react the way you want us to react or your subscribers has to react but this is how we do it she already did you know that performance and she was scared to be in a house and um, she just wanted to take her kids and leave. So, you scared to be in a house. But, in your last live, you said that you have a whole entire sheriff that lives next door to you. So, if you got a whole entire sheriff that lives next door to you, how could you really be that scared? If this guy is so scary, why did you let him meet all of your kids? Why would you bring him into your home? But we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave that alone. So, from the time that that video was posted, around 11 or so, she made a video. So, if you have not watched her from the time that she came out till now, you would not know how Chrissy moves, how she works, how she manipulates. 
Chrissy is very, very calculated. So with that being said, even when she was on the, the um, live crying, bawling, what were people doing? They were sending her cash apps because there they are looking at a person bawling, saying that she has to move, look scared, okay? This is how Chrissy works, okay? Just as in when she do these registries and you guys send her stuff and, you know, send her stuff, the dummies that I call you, she knows how to manipulate you. But see, certain people can see through what Chrissy does. And unfortunately, a lot of us can see through her. So, like I said, she went from crying, now she's over to tears are all dried up. She got her lashes on. She got her little um, turban on, fitting and looking really, really cute. And now she's back to her arrogant, selfish, calculated individual that she is. She's saying, oh, and if the pictures got out there and the ones that were leaked, I have a beautiful JJ. My ass is fat. Yeah. So now, you going to own up to it and you're going to try to flip it and say the things that you want to say, which makes really, honestly, you want the truth and made you look even more stupid. It is what it is. Y'all already know when I when y'all come over here, I'm going to say what I got to say, when I want to say it, and how I want to say it. No one is going to stop me from that. So like I said, if you don't like it, you can click off my video and go watch, you know, something else, okay? So, she went from that to addressing Liz. Now, like I said, I came on on the part where Chrissy made the video first on my hand, but didn't know Olivia had already made one video. Not talking about the last live that she did, but that one video before that. She began to talk, you know, about stuff that went down in Houston and everything and how basically her and Liv tried to come as one and really work as a friend. Sorry about that, I was thirsty. So anyway, so they could come in and do some business endeavors. So she basically said while she was there, um, they got along kind of good, but there were times where Olivia was throwing shade and Chrissy definitely was catching it and knew what she was trying to do. So I guess Chrissy kept it cute, okay? Now, the thing that I don't get is, Chrissy, why would you even went anywhere with Liv? You already know deep down when you was even going to Houston, you already knew about what type of person she is. See, and then with all of this stuff coming out, Liv is one of those where though you don't want to take her anywhere with you if she is your enemy. Because everything you do, she is definitely going to document it. So therefore, when she gets ready to go down on you or shit get, shit gets ready to hit the fan, she's going to be able to say, oh, yeah, do you remember you did this? Do you remember? Oh, and don't, she's going to do that. The other thing that got me is, why would you dare, dare to ask Olivia for any type of money? I would have not done that. I mean, and it was $50, like that's crazy. You couldn't get $50 from anybody else. I mean, why would you want $50? Did you want the $50 to go and do a line because 
I'm going to keep it. The $50 to do a line, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go back. Okay. We'll wind back. Basically, what Chrissy said is that it all broke up when Liv basically found out that she was actually opening up a lash line as well. So, Liv actually contacted Chrissy and said, hey, could can I send you some lashes so you can go ahead and do, you know, a review for me, a promo. And Chrissy responded back with, well, Liv, I'm coming out with, you know what I mean, my own line of lashes, okay? Which I totally understand. I totally get it, okay? But Liv, who is not a business-minded person at all, I guess she felt some type of threat. Liv decides to come at Chrissy from the side, stating, why didn't you tell me that you were launching your own lash line as well? So Chrissy, she's coming from her side saying, I didn't have to tell you any of that. That's why. So now you already know they blown. They hitting heads like this because now they are in competition. And I can tell you one thing, Chrissy, with that whole getting her bag thing in her business, oh, she gonna give you a run for your money, Liv. She definitely gonna make it work. And the reactors had already told Chrissy, told you and Jazzy that Liv was throwing shade at you. When she was talking about the baby fathers and she has a husband, when she was talking about um, her husband ain't locked up and don't have no babies on the way and Liv said, well, I ain't never been evicted, rah, rah, rah. I um I can have a husband. I don't have different baby fathers. My credit score good. All that type of shit that she was saying. We already knew right away. We like, wait a minute. Liv is straight up talking about um, Chrissy like, yeah. But I guess y'all didn't want to come out and, you know, let us know or whatever. Now, that's why I say y'all lie about little shit. So when y'all went ahead on and y'all did the last last um, Mommy Anna live, when y'all first started the beef in that live and then y'all completely switched it up and was like, no, 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 we playing. We knew that was a lie too. We knew that was a lie. We knew it. See, we react to the content that y'all put out. Just like right now, y'all over there, y'all bullying each other. Like y'all say the um, reactors do, y'all are actually bullying each other. Y'all harassing each other, all of that. But when the reactor comes on to make a video about the content that you put out, then we become a bully, then we become harassers. And none of us are bullying you or harassing you. So I kind of don't know where y'all get that from. So y'all put out this content yesterday. So now what we're going to do is we are going to react on it. And again, I am going to say to you, if you do not like reaction videos, then what you need to do is exit off of my channel. And again, I'm going to give y'all time to do it. Okay. So now... Shit is getting ready to hit the fan. They going crazy. I'm like, here we go. So Chrissy said Liv called her, tried to lean on her, and was like, you know, I got two cars. It was just a fucking mess or whatever. And, you know, Chrissy, she's saying, yeah, what you got is that old ass Benz and, uh, I don't even know. But, yeah, it was going, they was going back and forth, back and forth to each other. So, long story short, Jazz she basically tried to stay neutral in a situation. But Olivia started to, you know, say things about her on the low and went head on and blocked her, okay? So now, poor Jazzy, she ain't even did nothing to nobody and she done got blocked. Shit is crazy, right? You didn't hear a pee from Jazzy. Jazzy was like, I ain't getting my ass into this shit. 
she was quiet quiet as a church mouse not like she was yesterday when she was popping off on her live but i'm gonna do a video on that as well but yeah she was quiet i don't even think yeah i did see jazzy in there yeah but the thing that was even the thing that was really funny too all of them are i guess mods in each other channels so when one would start that video the other one would come in as a, as, as a mod and you know fuck with them i'm like this shit is crazy this is really crazy crazy okay when i tell y'all i had a fucking field day last night laughing y'all y'all already know i'm a fool i ain't know what to do with myself okay i went and got me a piece of cheesecake and some ice cream went ahead on and muted my tv got me a little blankie and threw it over i ain't need no drink no wine no nothing all i needed was my phone and i was good they were off the hook i mean y'all when I tell y'all it was funny, some of the stuff that was said, I mean, it was crazy. It was really crazy. But was it entertaining? Yes, it was entertaining. Very entertaining. Let's get on over to this allegedly drug use. So Liv says that Chrissy was running around sniffing lines trying to blow her head off her body okay she said all of them were doing it she said because they were on vacation so the thing that got me was y'all saying cocaine like y'all saying weed weed and cocaine is something different you are acting like cocaine is weed no normal people when they go on vacation at least me i don't when they go on vacation they don't just be like all right get let's get some coke we're gonna do some coke i mean we're gonna have some fun we're gonna ball out of control let's do this no not at all i've never heard nobody to go on vacation and they want to recreationally start sniffing coke okay all right so this is what i'm saying you done went from being scared out your house bawling crying having people you you, you already know what you did just stellar performance you done went from that to now you doing coke How do um, your subscribers feel about that? Let's see if they get on here and talk about that. Okay. Let's see that. Since you're so bullied and you're so harassed. I wonder what they're going to say about that. I wonder. So, when Lil went ahead head on and leaked the information out, I ain't going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I almost slipped my damn plate over a cheesecake i said did this did she just say that they were recreationally because it was vacation sniffing lines not only was they sniff, sniffing lines and that's why i'm real confused did chrissy want to borrow the 50 dollars so she could go ahead and shoot it up there I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just, remember, I'm just, I'm reacting to the content that is put out. That's it. So, because it's like real crazy to me that somebody, you know, you're going on a vacation and they want to know if they could borrow $50. Like, really? Okay. Then on top of that, you mean to tell me that Jazzy, which is your sister, so she say, you know what I'm saying? Your best friend, your Bonnie and Clyde, your fork and your spoon, Ted and Ed Adventures, that's who y'all act like, did not have a good $50 to give you 
two twenties, one ten, you know, something like that. So you ask Olivia? I don't even know why you prepped your ass to do something dumb like that to ask her. Because you already know how Olivia moved. You already know deep you already knew deep inside how she moved. Mm -hmm. So you should have been already aware, like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, keep my distance, but, you know, keep my enemy close to me. But, no, you decide that, oh, let me go and go ahead on over here and ask her $50. Girl, please don't ever do that again. If you don't have the money, then just don't go. I don't care who you got to ask. Just don't go. Not only are you sniffing lines and blowing your top off, you guys decide to pop mollies. And it sounds like you guys did it better than Lil Wayne Weezy did. Because y'all sniffing coke too. I gotta say, I was appalled. I gotta say, you bitches go hard, okay? You, I gotta give y'all props. Y'all ain't playing no games. No games at all. Not nothing y'all letting go. I said, I could not believe it. I said, oh my gosh. I mean, they popping mollies. Um, they popping mollies. Sniffing lines. Shit is crazy, right? But what was funny last night, too, was, baby, you didn't hear a pee from Jazzy. Jazzy was like, I ain't get my ass into this shit. She was quiet, quiet as a church mouse. Not like she was yesterday when she was popping off on her live, but I'm going to do a video on that as well. But, yeah, she was quiet. I don't even think, yeah, I did see Jazzy in there, yeah. But the thing that was even, the thing that was really funny, too, all of them are, I guess, mods in each other's channels. So when one would start that video, the other one would come in as a, as, as a mod and, you know, fuck with them. I'm like, this shit is crazy. Next, it was only one other way to go. That was to go ahead and pick you up a random, a random, just random dude and go home. And twerp him. Yep. Y'all picked you up a random and went home and did the thing. Okay. Didn't know this guy. Didn't know anything about him. But yet, Chrissy Liv said, you went right head on and had sex with him. But yet, you are crying for the situation that. you are in at this given moment. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, YouTube is about to have a filled day with you. Because I can tell you what, y'all already know. Even in the comments last night, they said, you know what, Reese is probably about to have a field day for days. And they are absolutely right. The reactors are going to have a field day to the content that you released. And what we are going to do is we are going to react to it. So, yeah. Chrissy then took a guy home and, you know, did what she do or whatever, and she ain't even known. That's how Chrissy gets down. That's why if you are not a subscriber that watched her from the beginning until now, you're not going to know too much of how she works. You're not going to know too much of the way she calculates situations and manipulates them. And yet, Jazzy is still quiet as a church mouse. 
she quiet. All you can hear is the crickets. Like I said, Jazzy, like, I ain't getting up there on no live fucking with you. But I ain't doing that. I definitely ain't doing that. And it was crazy to me because earlier in the day, Jazz had already got her tough Tony on again. And I said, Jazzy has got her tough Tony on again. And I'm going to have to react to that too. I just, you know, I, I ain't feel like it yesterday, but I got you. Liv was letting everything out. But Chrissy also told us, too, that Maurice, she said that um, Liv said that she wanted to go ahead and have Mexican babies with this guy. Yeah, Mexican babies. I said, oh, okay, Mexican babies. Chrissy said that the guy was kind of irritated because I guess Liv told him that you know they were going to have sex so basically they went in the room for a, a little while and um i guess they did whatever it is that you know they do and then she came back out and i guess he went on his way chrissy said that he would not even leave and they wanted him to get out okay so yeah so, I guess Liv, she is not as innocent either. She probably has not, well, I know that she has not tell, told the things that she did. But also, in Ming's Live, I was up and through the YouTube streets. She said that Olivia had sex with him all night and no condom, no nothing. She said that Olivia said that she did not want to be with Gerard and that basically she was using him for the surgery. So I guess what Ming is talking about is the part where she's married to Gerard so she's probably using his insurance to get the surgery. Okay. To get the surgery. Y'all, when I tell y'all the T was coming from left to right to me, baby. It was coming. I think I sat there, y'all, and I ate two slices of cheesecake. Two. Not one, but two. O Olivia said that then when they left, the guy that Chrissy left with, the one that she said Chrissy had sex with on the first night, who was crazy and um, didn't even have a car. She said, I think they were sitting in a bag and he was sitting between one or two, whatever it was. But she said that Chrissy whole shirt was out. Everything was exposed because she was so drunk. Mouth open. Yeah, that's what Liv said. With all of that being said, I am going to go ahead and exit off this video. Again, all of my old subscribers, thank you. All of my new subscribers, welcome. New subscribers, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will know every single time I what. Sit on the side of this bit. No, let me re let me rephrase phrase it. Sit my fat ass on the side of this bed and do my reactions. Until the next video. See you later.